behold on these special days. Inter fans not wanting a title collapse late in the season like six years ago. Kaká out to serve the Milan fans and here setting up Pipo Inzaghi but Julio Cesar does what he does so well. He makes a fine save. Pipo will be back for more though. Soon it's Daniele Bonera and Andrea Pirlo combining to set up a low percentage shot. Bonera finding the side and ending Cesar scrambling a little at the near post. A deflection on the way making that one scarier than uh, it might have been. First half stoppage time. Milan still pushing. Clarence Seedorf getting it to Kaká. He serves Pipo but that doesn't fit between the pipes. These two hit the break. Nil nil. Second session just nicely underway when Kaká and Inzaghi team up once again and this time well, this time they're going to convert. 1-0 Milan. Look at Pipo sneaking in there. Kaká, just enough room to send it in, and Pipo puts it away. Right after that, Milan looking for more. There's a steal, and the bounce to Kaká. 2-0 Milan, a pair just five minutes apart. Blowing this one wide open. Massimo Ambrosini poking it away from Maicon, and Kaká finds the back of the net. Just past the hour mark, an Inter needing a big half hour to get a result. Patrick Vieira supplying Hernan Crespo, Jelko Kalic out and makes the save. The big man shutting it down and Milan able to clear the rebound. Next, Julio Cruz lobbying to get the wall moved back for an Inter free kick. Cruz curling one netward and in. Inter back within a goal with about 15 to go. Cruz shaping it perfectly and all Kalic can do is watch. Deep in stoppage time, Inter with another free kick, this time for the draw. Christian Kivu unable to find the net. And Milan gets it done 2 1 on Derby Day. Fourth place of the Viola out of the UEFA Cup with the home side trying to cement their Serie A future. Calgary in dark. They get the goals flowing in the 20th corner kick header put in by Neves Capucho Jera. A 1 0 to Fiorentina. The 29 year old putting in his third of the season. Tracks it well and is in front of his man to get Bean to ball. They had the halftime lead and came out just as fired up in the back end of the match. They've got Fiorentina under the gun in the 52nd. The initial free kick headed away. Andrea Kosu fires from the top corner. Save made, but Alessandro Matri centers to Daniele Conti, who taps in 2-0 Cagliari. And they know they are that much closer to safety. Look at the bench celebrating away. The Fiorentina, no answer in defense. Nice save by goalkeeper Sebastian Frey, but he has no help. And the work rate paying off for Cagliari. The celebrations quieted a minute later, though, from the throw in Fiorentina. Get the ball to Mario Santana. He's going to one bang it past Marco Storari. 2 1, and it's setting up the tense finish. Santana urging his mates, come on, let's keep it going. The play is onside, and Santana reads it perfectly and puts it away past Storari rather nicely. Cagliari looking to get the two goal balls back, but a nice save from the fray off a free kick. Keeps it at 2 1, and that's. Is how. As they travel to face Sampdoria, Alessandro Mancini and Antonio Cassano all smiles as they walk out of the tunnel. Roma trailing Inter by six points at the top coming into the weekend. Sampdoria trying to take the Romans out of this one early. It's Cassano with the long distance try, but it's scooped easily by goalkeeper Doni. A little later, Angelo Palombo bombs one down the park. Cassano gets a hold of it, tries to poke it right side, but a great save by Doni as he gets a hand of that. Samp had the run of the show for much of the first half. Another try coming here as a deflected shot off the crossbar. Samp can't get it back out for another go as Roma lock things down. Donny the hero again just moments later. Header here just put off the bar by the goalkeeper. Gets the slightest of touches. Christian Panucci then heads it out for the corner kick and Samp unlucky not to be ahead. Instead it would be Roma that would get off the mark first. Panucci the corner kick header on the short side in the 75th. And Sampdoria shocked after they dominated most of the play. Panucci unmarked as he comes short to play that one into the corner. Four minutes later, they double their lead. David Pizzaro uncorking the low ball from the top of the arc. Nicely done, 2-0. Pizzaro leaving no chance for goalkeeper Antonio Marante on that one. They would polish this one off on a counterattack. Ludovic Giuli to Mirko Vucinic to Cicinho. The roller to the right side corner making it 3-0. And Roma still alive as they get to within a few of Inter at the top with two to go. This one ends in a 3-0 final. Sporting the black and white at home to Juventus. Juve gunning for second, but defending to start in this one. Siena pressuring. And Hussein Karia goes crossbar and in on Gigi Buffal. 1-0 Siena. That's good news for Alex manager. Karia causing trouble. And his touch, absolute perfection. Buffal unable to reach it on the way over. Second look in case you couldn't believe your eyes. Outstanding touch. Juventus taking over the game from there but the challenge was finding a goal Pavel Nedved getting underneath one in close 
No trouble for the home side. Sienna with a breakthrough a little later. Buffon quick off the line and he snuffs the danger. That's why he is one of the best in the business. Look at him get out there quickly, cut down the angle and knock it aside. That's how you do it. Second half, Inter pushing again. Mauro Camaranesi cutting inside the coverage. Firing, but it goes high. Inter pleading for a corner kick, but to no avail. Next up, David Trezeguet with a look for the visitors. That look blocked. Camaranesi with another shot. Manager down and squeezes it. No goals, no second place for Juve as Siena surprises 1-0.